Well, hello, all my machine heads, and oh, welcome to a brand new series on an awesome map. We are on Blackwater Bottoms, baby. Blackwater Bottoms by Shanty Boys Map. We are going to do a series that you guys are going to love. I'm decked out in my thief clothes, my farming simulator.com thief clothes, and <laughs> we're going to get started. As you can see, I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time. Uh, I'm not going to run with the HUD because I don't want to worry about time. So I'm going to do things by the old-fashioned way that Fury used to do things and get our clock up and running here so that I can... There we go. Give us a little extra time. And so let's get started, everybody. So how is everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic as usual so how are you guys doing <laughs> uh, I'm doing great I'm excited to get this let's play started we are going to play just so you guys know even though there's no HUD 2x speed one day months and we're going to do things a little bit more on the realistic side uh, there may be a few things that I miss here and there but uh, for the most part I'm going to do things realistically realistic speeds within, within reason I'm not going to go extreme realism but I am going to go realistic as far as that goes. Now, let me give you a little farm tour here with my patches on my armpits or holes in them. One of the two. I left all the sheds because I promised Matt that there wouldn't be any sheds on here. We'll go a little faster here. Now, we went ahead and we bought all of our equipment that we need. I know, Russell. This guy turns around. I can change that in the XML. But I'm not going to. We've got not one, but two 500 uh, 15s. I got these off Simply Safe mods. Uh, their horsepower is just a little bit more jacked up. They are a 190 horsepower because I needed them. But we got a plow. We got a fertilizer. We've got our second fent over here. I haven't put anything away yet. Let me double check to make sure I am recording just to be sure. And I am. Perfect. Let me get back to the game so I can see what's going on. We've got our cultivator because we're actually going to cultivate. We've got a little simple mower. We got our cedar. And we got our rock picker. Now, Matt's going to enjoy this. This is the multi fruit silo that I sent you last time. Right here. This thing holds, ready for it, 5 million liters of the regular and it holds everything these are silo extensions they each hold five million so we've got five ten fifteen twenty million liters and i have to terraform this because i did this this is not matt this uneven ground here is me uh yeah i did all this uneven stuff here so all right so we are going to do a sheep empire I have always wanted to do an extended let's play with some sheep, and we are going to do that. Now, my money. I put it down. I had to start with $10,000 because we have nothing as far as I have to buy some bales to get started with our sheep. I have to buy some seeds and fertilizer because we don't have any of that stuff yet. But, all right, ready, Matt? I sold the animal pens because you knew I was going to, and I put my sheep pens in here. Each one of these holds a thousand. So we've got a hundred sheep in there. Eventually a thousand. Let's kind of sprint over here a little bit. We've got a hundred sheep in here. And I put another pen over here. For a total possible of three thousand sheep. That's how long I'm planning on being on this map. For real. I absolutely have fallen in love with this map. All different colors, because the wife wanted one, I wanted one, and grandkid was like, pick white, pick white. <laughs> so I did. Uh, I went ahead and I put three sheds. These are from the Elk Mountain pack. And they are my fate one of my favorites. Show you these. As well as I've got mats. We already got a workshop. This is this is run right here. Well, actually, this technically is a second workshop. Listen to the sound of that. But I'm not using this as a uh, workshop, everyone. I'm just going to use this to park all kinds of things. This will be like tools and stuff like that. Technically, you could put 
the mobile workshop, which I have downloaded, the little toolbox. You could put it up on here and then back your tractors in there. We're not going to do that. This also has, I don't need to be sprinting everywhere. You guys hear that again? This also, all the doors work. Like I said, if you play Elk Mountain, you'll get this. This also has a side door that opens, so you have plenty of space for storage. And we'll shut that down. And then we have one more over here, which is the same as the other one. So we'll go like that, show you guys. Yeah, don't I look like a uh, thief in the night with my black, all black, with Johnny Cash? So, Matt, we compromised. We, you, we, le we left some of your uh, stuff, and we put some of our own. So our farm is done. We're ready to go. We've got our pressure washer right over here. We've got Matt's workshop inside of there. We've got a silo. We've got all the equipment, but it's very, very, very small. Uh, like, for example, this fertilizer spreader is only six meters. The plow is only literally four meters. Cultivator is only three. The, it's, it gives us plenty, 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 plenty of time to build up. Uh, but like I said, the main reason that I took... The hut off is I'm absolutely sick and tired of staring at it, worrying about how long my videos are, worried about how long I've played. You guys are going to, this way we can play a running clock and nobody is staring at the clock saying, how long is it taking you? <laughs> so that's why we're going to do it. Uh, I'll try to keep my videos right around an hour, same as I always do. Uh, I sold your truck, Matt, because I needed money. So what I did, everyone, is we start with we started with ten thousand dollars, and I'll show you in the store. It should. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, let's say let's go here. All right, see how it says balance ten thousand dollars. You guys know I'm transparent. I have some stuff up at the shop that um I need. Oh, and I got to show you one more thing, and then we're gonna we gotta get busy. Let me run right over here. I bought well two more things actually. Matt's got these. Where'd he go here? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Mm. Their greenhouses are so... Where are they, Matt? Oh, there they are. At the other end of the bridge. I put my speed up a little bit, everyone, so I can kind of run around. Matt's got us started with greenhouses with water in them. So we can get started. But I bought a water container, an older one, and free water right here. I'm eventually going to terra farm down to be able to get water right out of the creek and right out of the river. But let's uh, speed burst over here real quick, and I'll show you what I built. This won't take us that long. And then we got to get busy plowing. Otherwise, we're not going to get anything done. But I am planning on being on this map, map for an extended period of time, like I said. And yes, Triple D, I am happy they put the trailer park in. Matt's done a wonderful, fantastic job with this map. I am planning on being on this pretty much permanent uh, except for I will be doing a logging map, I do believe, on the plantation map, which I, they could have picked up a different name for that. But that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Like I stated in my flyover, this is going to be my production area. I've got my silage factory right here, which takes bales. This is also from the same pack mat that gives the multi-fruit silo. That's why it looks exactly the same. And this also holds uh, 5 or 15 million. We've got our sell point here for our milk and cheese. Sounds like a diner, doesn't it? We've got our... This is our production to make cheese out of our dairy milk. Or out of our sheep milk. So we'll bring our milk right up here. Drop it in there, and the pallets of cheese come right out here. And we go right across the street and sell them. We've got our uh, lime factory. We got our manure factory because I fell in love with this thing. This thing is awesome. You can do animals with and, and still make manure. Uh, oh, which reminds me. Oh, I changed it. All right, so we got to change it. Uh, because I with manure, I want to use just a manure spreader. What I what I want to do. So let's, this is our fertilizer factory, which we need for our seeds. We're going to take the manure out of there, put some of it in here to make fertilizer, take the fertilizer, put it in here uh, with some, this takes uh, wheat, barley, or corn. We can make seeds out of it and get them right out of here. I also have to terraform this because 
Matt did a wonderful job, so I'm going to fix that off camera. Um, and that's it. So let's see what the cheapest uh, manure spreader is because we only have $10,000. We still got to buy bales. We may have to save up for that. Uh, what's the cheapest here? Oh, you know what? I got one. I thought I had a John Deere in here. Thought I had a John Deere manure spreader small. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that. I'm going to put that John Deere one back in. Uh, it's It holds only 1,200, but it goes quite a ways. It's pretty cool. It'll be a small one. And that way we can do it. And what we'll do is for today, we'll just whatever we get done. All right, so let me tap back. Oh, right there's our uh, bale wrapper, bale loader, baler, and this... Joshkin is the, for the, uh, I almost called them goats again, sheep milk. You have to have this special trailer, which comes in the pack, and it holds 7,300, and you can take the milk right to the cheese factory. All right, so let's tab back to the blue one right here. Let's get started plowing, and we're ready to go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Back, black water bottoms. This is fantastic. Great job, Matt. I am so excited to get this going. Because we only have 10000 We can't even utilize workers right now because we don't have enough money. We only have 10000 by the time we start buying seeds and fertilizer. Now, once we get some pallets made of the fruits and stuff and we can sell them, then we'll start. Um, I also turn traffic off, just so you guys know. Because you guys know I hate it. I don't care who makes the map. I can't stand the traffic. I like to be able to drive where I want to drive and not have to worry about it. All right, so we're going to start with field 12 because this has already got grass in it. But I'm not using it for grass. I want my wheat or barley for my... All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. Now, it's going to go kind of slow. I think it's going to go six miles an hour. I put everything down. I didn't go crazy, like I said, realistic uh, speeds, but I did go uh, a lot slower than what it normally does. This normally will plow, uh, it was just technically a subsoiler, will technically subsoil at like 9 or 10. I went 5.7 just to make it a little bit more realistic. Like I said, it's going to be a realism experiment. Uh, the, be the more that we get into it, the better. Uh, it'll be exciting. Like I said, these fields are small. They shouldn't take us too long. We can't even utilize workers because we don't have any workers right now. Because we don't have the money. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. But thank you all for the kind words in the comments. It was great. Uh, Matt left a highlight. I got to highlight his comment. I almost forgot today. I didn't hear from Vanessa today. She wasn't feeling the greatest the other day. So uh, I'm assuming that... Um, she was probably a little under the weather, which is which is fine. She'll she'll comment when she comments. I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, but I'm glad that Matt liked it. Um, this is not also not very realistic a fent that's in blue, but this mod, this pack, this 511 pack that I got off of Simply Safe Mods. Uh, it's one of the most stable mods. You guys have seen me use this on several Let's Plays. I like it. It's an older tractor, but it also comes with 196 horsepower. So you're not limited to buying uh, like tiny, tiny equipment. You can use six meter equipment with this and still be fine. That's what I like. Um, you know what? I should probably get him set up with horseplay. Let's uh, let's do that. Because that won't cost. Let's make sure that we have that all turned off. Uh, let's see. Course play. Okay, activated. I want to make sure my settings, just for so you guys can see. Oh, let's see how many. Got 30 strawberries. We're making them pretty fast, guys. Okay, so I turned weeds off because I can't stand them. Okay, off, 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 off. All right. Let's do this. Let's get him set up on some course play. I don't even know if I can do this without the HUD. It's going to be fun to try to figure out how to do it. Oh, you know what? I think you can go into the uh, course play menu, right? 
do it from there. Let's see if we can get him started right here. Uh, course play. Course play. Course play. Uh, okay, I don't need to do all that because this is not going to show up. Yep. All right. No worries. So let's. Yeah, we'll. Uh, let's get him at least ahead. Of so I knew that was going to happen with the HUD off. You won't be able to turn course play on. Uh, I do want to utilize it because it's free. But in the same token, I want to be. I don't want this HUD on. I am absolutely annoyed with it right now. I've been annoyed with it for quite a while, actually, to be honest with you. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know. I think it becomes, as a content creator, I think it becomes an obsession. I think you, you start staring at it. People start staring at it for how much money you've got. It takes the immersion out of the game because it's sticking in your face. So... We're going to leave it off for this Let's Play. Not going to worry about it. About what time it is when it gets too dark to see. We will stop doing what we're doing. We'll go to the next day. We'll go over to Matt's lovely house there. But yes, Matt, you will be getting your truck back in this Let's Play. Because uh, I really need it to be able to run equipment back and forth. Uh, I think with the amount of stuff I'm going to try. I'm going to try to pay for a worker because I want to kind of do something else too like we can start running some of our equipment back home uh, and then I want to buy some we got to buy some lime some actually you know what we got to we don't have to buy bales because we've got all this lovely grass here on the outside so let's see if we can get him working right here and we'll see how much we start with we start with ten thousand dollars. All right, let's get him going here. Get him out. Let's see. All right, let's get over here. I gotta put a bridge in over here, Matt. Just so you know, I'm gonna put it right like here, so we can come straight across. Can't afford it right now. You see how slow you run up the hill, though. Hey. <laughs> All right, so let's drop this front loader off. And... There we go. You know what I might have to do? I might have to open up my SIM dashboard so that I can see the time and the money and everything else. Uh... I'm going to head up, and we're going to, uh, ugh, I should have left that front loader on. Let's start bringing the equipment home while he's plowing. Yeah. Or she. I don't know if it, who it is. Perfect. We'll find out if he's turning right. Get some wheat in the ground first. Uh, so we'll have some straw coming in for our manure. Uh, and then eventually when we make, we'll make some hay, our, uh, grass bales up for the for the animals. And we'll also make some silage bales up because Matt has been gracious enough to give us the, the BGA to start with. So I've already got a cell point for my silage. It's going to be great. I want to see if the turn signal still, still worked. All right, let's uh, take the baler back home first. I knocked over the mailbox. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Crash counter one. But this tractor goes like 38 or 40 miles an hour, so it's nice running. You know, it's a nice running tractor, to be honest with you. Um. You can run run equipment back and forth. We're going to actually grab that mower first. We're going to start mowing. Some, and get some grass bales done. So we'll leave this on the side of the field for right now. Because I think the reason I decided to go 
wonder if you can get water out of those. It's right on the side right. You know what? They're a trailer park. They won't mind a baler sticking in front of their house, will they? Mow that section, bale up some grass, then bring over our uh, thingy here. But I plan on look at all the grass around these fields. Like Now, what I'm going to do is when we get to the big equipment there, hopefully I will be built up enough to where we can have big equipment on it. But we're starting small. We're going to do basically what, the way Matt set it up for us. And uh, we are going to start small and work our way up. And where we end up is where we end up. I'm not going to... There is no time frame on this map. Basically, what's going to happen is when I own the whole map and we have some astronomical amount of numbers, uh, our, our sheep are full and uh, that sort of thing. That's what we're going to do. Well, we don't need that right now. In fact, I don't even think I need that front loader right now. Because these guys don't make pallets. Oh, yeah, they do. They make pallets of milk. But I may... I don't know. There's a lot of things we got to... Oops, sorry. Clip mats. Eat there. He doing perfect. He's working. All right. Now we also own all the grass in between everything. That's the cool thing. We can mow and mow and mow and mow. We want, we shouldn't have any problems feeding our animals. <laughs> Listen to that thing whine. Love it. Like I said, eventually we're going to own the grown Big M 500. Now, I'm very, very much considering doing a time lapse for my logging map. Uh, I went through uh, after Triple D Honey pointed out, I like the plantation map for, for forestry because my grandfather, well, it'd be my great grandfather, uh, my grandfather's dad, he had a tree farm. So basically farming's been running in my life for a long, long time. He had a, a Scottish pine tree farm. And those um, those trees remind me a lot in how they're all evenly spaced and everything. That reminds me a great deal of my granddad's, great-granddad's uh, tree farm. I could have been much more than probably six or seven and I was planting trees by hand. You know, when you're six or seven, it's like, bloop. In the little holes because they didn't have any of those fancy stuff back then uh, he didn't use it i mean they had it out but he never used it uh but that represents quite a bit for me but i'm very 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 strongly considering doing a uh time lapse logging i would like to be able to uh complete one logging map without having to stop uh, I guess what's happening is I'm getting a little frustrated with the amount of maps that I'm jumping over. I'm not getting very far on maps, so I've got to start picking maps that I absolutely love. Um, just because. 
Um, I don't think we're going to get many too many bales off of this, especially since it's uh, 180 bales. I don't even know what size that. I should have did that before the HUD was done. Go right up the side of this. Get nice, nice strip there. We'll also go about another five minutes. I think I'll make the videos a little bit shorter than normal. It'll help with the load up times. It'll help me. Uh, I think sometimes for me, what happens is I end up playing like a little too long. And so it tends to burn you out when you're doing hour videos every day. So let's go about another five minutes. We'll keep this video at right around 30 minutes. That way we can keep everybody kind of sane and we'll just do a running clock we'll do it right from the beginning right from the start and where we leave off is where we leave off and we'll come in back and we'll pick it up i will do my best 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 to make sure i'm doing other things like you saw i did a little bit of plowing then i turned it loose now i'm doing some mowing uh and then i'll do some bailing but by then i'll i'll try try to hire out the the field work for workers uh, like I'll do a little bit of the field and then I'll try to hire them out so that we're moving along with the series but on the same token you guys don't have to watch me harvest for 400 years uh, or plow for 400 years that's the, that's what I meant by semi realistically because in your life you'd be doing it all yourself alright so let's go right here look at the autumn leaves I just blew through all my windrows. Real life, I would have uh, raised that mower right there, even though you don't have to. Uh, because I would have blown all the windrows all over the place. This will give us a little bit. This will give us a couple bales to give to our sheep run. we got. We got to try to get at least three bales. Uh, like I said, I don't know. We're probably not going to get to bailing this episode. So then what I'll do is, off camera, I'll turn that HUD on and get the baler set up. And I'll turn it right back off again. I really, really, really am going to stick my guns. I don't want it on. Not for this Not for this series. I want at least one series where I'm not stressing about time. Because here's what happens, everyone. You get going, and as a content creator, you don't... Like, you want to do things to where people see what's going on. But you also don't want to... Like, you want to move it, but you, you don't. You kind of want to leave, left, leave off where you left off. But people get frustrated when they start seeing you harvest two, three, four, five hours in a row. Five episodes in a row. This way, you guys don't know how long it is. I don't know how long it is. We're going to play till it gets too dark to see. Then we're going to go on to the next month. But we're only doing one month, and it's 2x speed. So you can kind of figure out in your head of how long it is. Go about to the end of this row, and then I'm going to start wrapping this up. Yeah, I think I'm in the series. Let's go a little bit shorter videos. Yeah, that's kind of thought of the whim. Let's go a little bit shorter videos so that people aren't getting as burned out. Uh, we'll try to keep it as... All right. Get this done, and we'll run down here. This isn't very realistic either. But at least he's plowing. He's doing well. All right. We're going to stop him. All right. I'm going to shut this off. I'll say my goodbyes, and we will wrap up for this episode. Look at making rocks, everybody. So if you heard the little ding, it's been an hour in game, which is about right. All right, everyone. 
Please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video. Uh, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series because we are going to do a lot of things. If you have any suggestions about how you want me to do things, you can always put them in the comment uh, as far as moving the series goes. But for the most part, we're going to do it right where we left off. That's the way to do it. And on that note, everyone, have a great one. I will see you back here tomorrow on this awesome map. Great job, Matt. Great job, great job, great job. Love you guys all, and we'll catch you on the flip side.